Sherry Papini's husband issued a lengthy statement today about his wife, who was found on the side of the road in Yolo County three weeks after she disappeared. Good evening, I'm Sam Shane. And I'm Christina Janes. CBS 13's Adrian Moore joins us now with details on what her husband witnessed when he saw his wife for the first time. Adrian? Christina and Sam, Keith Papini says investigators told him to brace himself before he was reunited with his wife. And what he describes next is a sight that was painful to reconcile with the mother of two he watched leave their Reading home for a jog three weeks prior. From head to toe, Sherry Papini was covered in bruises, burns, rashes, her skin indented and scabbed from being held in restraints, her nose broken from repeated beatings. Chilling details revealed by her husband, Keith, who in a written statement to Good Morning America said, quote, My Sherry suffered tremendously, and all the visions swirling in your heads of her appearance, I assure you, are not as graphic and gruesome as the reality. And that reality includes an emaciated wife at just 87 pounds, and the details of what he calls a true hell over her 22 days in captivity. He writes, her signature long blonde hair had been chopped off. She'd been branded, and I could feel the rise of her scabs under my fingers. My reaction was one of extreme happiness and overwhelming nausea as my eyes and hands scanned her body. I was filled with so much relief and revulsion at once. CHP is on scene and advising she has changed to something. CHP is advising she is uh, heavily battered. Recently released dispatch audio from the Highway Patrol pinpointed where the 34-year-old mother of two was found on a remote road in Yolo County, 150 miles from home. It's proof, says Keith, of the trauma his wife suffered and criticizes those he feels are using social media to tarnish her reputation and indulge in conspiracy theories, saying rumors, assumptions, lies, and hate have been both exhausting and disgusting. Those people should be ashamed of their malicious, subhuman behavior. Now, Keith Papini ended the statement by asking for privacy, saying the road to healing will certainly be a long one. As for the suspects in this case, investigators are looking for two Hispanic women in a dark-colored SUV. Well, this is uh, disturbing and mm -hmm. odd and strange and so much we don't know. Uh, what a story this has turned out to mm -hmm. be so far. So disturbing. Okay, uh, thanks very much for that. We have some breaking